Good morning. Good evening everyone, our green champions. I'm really glad and quite exciting to have the other podcast today um, that will discuss really one point. It's linked to how I get things done. Uh, what is my own definition of done itself? Um, and today I will just share how I see that word and uh, how I apply it to myself, but also how they can be also useful. So get things done is probably part of our daily, day-to-day life in terms of activities because we work, we doing parenting as well, and all these things, you know, how you can start an activity in a task and just get to the result that you want. For me, I just divided uh, down in different uh, definition, and I will start with the letter D. Um, and how I see it, and D will also have two different definitions as well. So, with the D, I think it's quite important to uh, integrate that aspect. If you want to get things done, you have also to be dedicated. Um, dedicated is important in life because it's helped you to achieve your goals, build expertise, you know, develop perseverance, find your personal satisfactions, but also have a positive impact around you. Um, it also helps you to have enough energy to get to the end result uh, at the end of the day. And it's quite important to be dedicated. The second D is just linked to the discipline, being disciplined. I think it's a way to really achieve your goals, but also if you start something and you realize that you get these, these things done, very, very nicely done, uh, excellent, but if you haven't the possibility to repeat the same thing on the longer term, it would be difficult. So having a discipline of maintaining the same rhythm, the same commitment, um, the same details oriented, it's important and that discipline is quite something that you have because that will develop, help you to develop good habit right, in the day to day. Have your self-control, uh, just manage your time as well effectively um, and help to grow as a person. Uh, so having the discipline uh, can create more fulfilling and successful life um, for yourself. So it's good to integrate that. So for the D, we have discipline and being dedicated. Now let's go for the O. For the O, I think the first thing I have is just optimism. Um, being optimistic. <laughs> I think it's uh, something that contribute on mental and physical health, right? Uh, and being optimist help you really to see the good things of uh, everything, right? And help you also to have that positive mindset uh, that always there is a way to get to the end. Uh, and that will also help you to have the tenacity to not give up. Um, you know, building a better relationships as well as having greater resilience and uh, help you to also create more positive uh, and uh, fulfilling your life as well. So I think optimism is quite important to have. The second part of the O is organized, being organized. I think it's also tell us people when you are not really organized, that will also give us a little bit of sense the way you work, the way you conduct things, but also it's important to integrate that part on your uh, day-to-day life as well. Because being organized help you to really understand what is needed, uh, what are the things that you need to integrate, uh, what are the things is quite important to, uh, you know, reduce stress as well, you know, improve your relationships. Um, so I think it's good to have that uh, as well when you go in that direction. The other element is linked to natural, uh, being natural. I think we have to be in or you have to be yourself. Doesn't require to just trying to be someone else because you are some of value, experience, culture that are quite unique. So be proud of yourself, trying to better know who you are which is much more important who they are. And being natural really can easily create 
connection with others, you know, loving yourself and create that purposeful life for yourself as well. Now let's go to the letter E, right? Uh, and I think the first thing is quite important, I can say it's the word empathy. Why empathy is quite important? Uh, important because that will contribute to a stronger connection to others. Also having that kind of compassion, kindness, kindness, uh, helping you to better understand how to resolve conflict, personal growth, that positive social change. And empathy also, it's a skill that it's really important for leaders to integrate, especially those who lead team, to understand you know, how to define and how also to practice that on a day-to-day life. The second element on the letter E, uh, which is energetic, I think being energized, it's really good because that also helps you to just keep things, keep the same rhythm. And one of the difficult things is just finding a source of energy. And that's why when you are on your discovery phase within your life, there's a lot of questions you have to ask yourself about the why, where I come from, what is your source of energy, why you wake up every morning to go to work. Uh, just find out where the source of energy is and that will help you to just you know, fuel yourself, like feed yourself, you know, and have an infinite source of energy. It's... <laughs> It's really like, you know, being plugged to a 24 hours, 24 seven and, you know, lifetime energy, right? Uh, and you will be always up to get to something. And all of all, I think it's just done, you know, get things done. But I think you cannot get things done without having a spirit of sharing. Because sharing also is important. Sharing, uh, you know, informations, sharing times, knowledge, create also connection with others but also help you to grow because the more you share the more you will also learn from others and foster personal growth collaboration teamwork right and make a positive difference in the world because sharing is just created like really that human definition of people so yes that's how I see get things done on my own point of view own perspective I'm happy also to hear from your side what you're seeing, what you're thinking about that. Um, but yes, this was my share thought this morning, and I was uh, happy to share with you. Looking forward to hear and see you next week and next time. <laughs> Thanks very much for listening. Cheers.